it seems to me that every time I think I'm done with something, I continue studying it and analyzing it, and, and I see something else that I need to fix. And so I'm going to share with you two more tweaks that I made to this uh, photo uh, to fix those brown spots. You can say, see here I've added two more adjustment layers to the photo and um, I really like the way this looks. Let me make those two adjustments invisible and you can see as I click on them what happens to the photo. Now to me, um, after I added the hue and saturation adjustment to get rid of the brown, it just seemed to me that the white in her dress uh, didn't match the white in their clothes. Um, it has a sort of a just the ever slightest uh, blue tint to it and um, you can see it more maybe when I zoom out you can see that this is a different color uh, than that it's not something that you may want to fix you may be happy with it this way but it was driving me nuts and I just had to fix it so let me show you how I I fixed uh, that problem first I added a new adjustment layer for brightness and contrast and I went ahead and I brightened you can see how that's already uh, fixing her outfit and I just moved the contrast a little bit but now you have to remember I want it to only apply to her dress and not everything and so I'm going to click on that layer mask whoops get the uh, paint bucket tool let me hit undo a couple times because I had that brush I'm going to paint it all black and then I'm going to go back select the brush tool and let's just apply that to her and I mean that I even uh, went and grabbed her face and applied it to her face and I didn't need to be exact with my uh, selection of her um, and you can see that that already looks better but I still felt there was that blue bluish tint to her and so I'm going to show you quickly how I fixed that and so I'm going to go ahead and use the new layers adjustment again and this time I chose levels and um, I'm going to go ahead and click OK for now and I'm going to uh, fill the layer mask in with black and I'm going to get my white and I'm going to I'm going to be applying this to just her clothes and now I'm going to go back and open up that levels and what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to get the little white dropper and I'm going to tell the dropper that I don't really want it um, to sample and change white and I'm going to go over here to this lady's dress and and click on it and if you can see there it's changed uh, this color picker to this light gray which is is what I'm seeing that I need to change her dress to uh, this lady's dress is not that color and so now I'm telling it uh, I'm telling the levels that I want to change wherever I click to this little light gray color I want to click out here on her dress and you can see instantly um, it has changed the white of her dress to that uh, color that was in that color picker which isn't a pure white it's um, kind of an off-white I could click on different areas of her dress until I see that doesn't work over there but it did work in this area and I'm going to click OK and it, it's going to ask me do I want to save the new target colors and, and I'm going to say no because otherwise the next time I sample something to be white it's going to tell it it really wants that um, 
white with the gray in it. So I'm going to click no because I, I don't want to save that. However, it still saves the, the adjustment that I made. It just doesn't save. What it's not saving is when I changed this eyedropper to that other color. Now you can see that the white in her dress now matches uh, their clothes and, and I was much happier with with this adjustment. Just a little little bit a uh, little bit more of a tweak um, that just a few other skills that you can use uh, maybe in your photos.